All right. Whew. That's way far away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, gang. Uh, Jack Allaire here. Today we're playing uh, Ford Truck Mania, published by Gotham Games and made by Alpine Studios, as you can see. Uh, I am off-center because the lighting up here is really weird because as we get closer to winter, um, <clears throat> less and less light comes in. So, coffee got put off a while. Sorry about that. So here's... No final found. This game is a fantasy simulation. So then we've got... Uh, Truck. Oh, it's reversed. Well, you get the idea. But since we played the uh, the not good game, or at least in my opinion, not good. First of all, this is two player. Any racing game that's not two player just doesn't sit with me. So we're gonna go for a single race. We'll just push the buttons. Sure, we'll go with this one. I don't want to mess with the paint. <clears throat> we'll mess with that in a minute. But, uh... Yeah, so... Picked this up for... What was it? Buck 50? And see, here, I can see the edges of the road. And I stick to the ground. I don't... Still don't turn right correctly. Still kind of bounce. The other thing is that these steering is uh, touchy. I'll say. But I do feel like I'm on the ground at least. I drift, he gets a little farther ahead. Oh. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to keep your traction in this game. Oh, fall back to third. But this is more my style of racing. I don't know. Speaking of styles of racing, so Mario Kart on the... Oh, last lap, I guess. Did you really just bounce off and speed boost? That's weird. But so Mario Kart for the phones came out, and my sons and I have been playing it. Uh, my oldest son seems very enthusiastic about it, and he's having a grand old time. Second place. Not bad. But I'm having troubles. Oh, it's the replay. I'm having troubles in that it's, it's everything I don't like about Mario Kart. Like, Mario Kart for me has always been sitting around with a bunch of knuckleheads in a room, 
smack talking each other. Oh, oh, blue shell, blue shell. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Just wait for next lap, buddy. Um, so. It's all the stuff I don't. stuff here. But that's... Alright, I guess that's all you can do. So there's some stuff here. But like I'm saying, it's just not the stuff for me. And one of the things I thought is that, you know what? I really want to see... We'll go for one more. Oh, sure. We'll try the ice level. I'm going to stick with this truck. This is the truck that I like. Uh, but I was I want Mario Rally. I would love to see the Mario characters do kind of a rally thing. I don't know why. Just I guess it's one of those things that you know you see you see all of the other Whoa. Well, at least I autocorrect. Alright, so now let's see if the, the AI just completely ignores me or... Ooh. Gives me a chance to catch up. Oh, this is a really short track. is it doesn't handle like snow. The other problem about going back to all of these games is that they're like everybody's it's everybody's best guess. So th nobody was like all right we're, we're modeling the the road wear and the tires and we're doing who's he what's it's nobody was doing that <clears throat> or if there were, I haven't run across that game. Maybe Gran Turismo, maybe one of the other games, but there's no... That corner gets me every time. But there weren't people out there doing the, the super awesome physics-y things of, hey, here's what cars drive like on ice. It was just kind of guesswork. <clears throat> I think I got worse almost every lap. Don't don't show the replay. Nobody needs to see that. <clears throat> but I'm The problem is that I live in I live in Michigan. So I drive on snow 3 months out of the year. minimum so when I get in a in a spot where it's telling me okay this is snow and I'm driving on snow it doesn't work like snow so for those who don't for those who do not drive on snow let me give you a brief lesson snow is very slippery snow is slippery the, so the way that snow compresses and forms ice, and then when ice is put under pressure, 
because of how freezing temperature of, of things works, the, the more pressure you put on it, it turns, to, it turns back to water. So what principal ice skates work on is that you put a bunch of pressure in a tiny spot, it open, it turns that ice into water, and then you can kind of slide across the ice. Snow is even weirder because you don't know if you're, if the snow is turning to ice, you don't know if the snow is staying snow, you don't know if the snow is turning to water, but why am I pulling to the, whatever. But it eventually all, oh, you guys are jerks. Now I'm back in fourth place. But, really, hit me while I'm already stuck. So, when you're driving on snow, for the most part, you're just driving and everything's fine. The problem comes in when, I'll say more than two of your wheels start to slip. Now normally, if you're a front wheel drive car, really you just, normally if you're a front wheel drive car, you've got, your front wheels are the ones that steer and drive. So, you're kinda, you're kind of screwed if you lose those two wheels. But you're also good because if you lose the front two wheels, then there's nothing you can do. So you just kind of, I mean, you can let go of the wheel at that point and kind of just go. Not advisable, but you can. So the as soon as you lose three points of contact, that's when things start going really, really bad. So your third point of contact is generally how you're how you're steering, or at least keeping the car pointed the, the right direction. So for instance, let's say that you've got your wheels here, 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 and so as long as this side is, is getting traction, you're fine. As long as this side is getting traction, you're fine. As long as the front wheels are getting traction, you're fine. This is a front wheel drive car. Rear wheel drive, whole different mess. All wheel drive car, still same principle applies. So as long as the car, the part where you are steering is still getting traction, you're kind of okay. Because at least then, the back end is just gonna stay back there. Because the way physics works is that unless you slam on the brakes, oh, slam on the brakes, all this is off. So, but so when you ride in a in a in a car on snow, there's this feeling, and I can't I can't describe it other than that. But it turns into where you're you're literally just sitting there, and you're like, okay, so I've got. Let's go, to, oh, let's go to an Aspen Grove. Let's go to the Lost Mine. Oh, I can't go to the Lost Mine. We'll go to the Misery Mine then. Sounds delightful. So, you'll feel it when you start to lose traction. And normally it'll just be a little, oh. Then that's it. And then you're better. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I lost a little bit of traction there. But there are some points where you lose, like, once traction's gone, you're just like, uh-oh. And you're just kind of at the whim of whatever. better tires. 
I mean, they have to have all those options for a reason, right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, every time I touch him, he speeds up. So I have to pass him without touching him. And then this stupid mine. Away. Okay, kind of got it. Oop, nope. I had to say it out loud, and then I screw everything up. But yeah, so I'm sure it's for the same for people who like ride on the the any any place where you just don't have that feedback and for the snow it's completely tactile and I know that there's no way they can do it now see I ram him into the wall and somehow skates by Second, it's the best I can do, I guess. But, so let's take a look. Ford Truck Mania. Ford Truck Mania! I kind of miss games like this. I mean, it's not completely inoffensive. It is the, the, the pancakes of, of video games. Side. That doesn't sound good. So we've got practice, career, new career. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to go through the hassle. Oh, the track editor. Racetrack. You know what? I'll show you guys a different truck. Just I don't think it matters. But we would race. Yes.
Wow. CPU's not even like, maybe we'll let you give it a try. Nope. Screw you, later sucker. I don't know what that noise is. Oh, I can't tell if that's part of the soundtrack. Saw one. No, I didn't see one. Just making that up. Well, at least I got better almost every lap. There's Ford Truck Mania. Oh. It's a pretty good game. I would, I, for a buck fifty that I got it for, this is a lot of fun. I think I would have fun playing this against somebody else. It still lacks a lot of the things that I'm looking for from a, a racing game. But then again, my favorite racing game of all time is Need for Speed Underground, so I don't know what that says about me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Let's see if it try. I guess we can. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, as always, play on.